morning guys. Today we'll be looking at Ripsalis pilocarpa in bloom. This is a species of cactus endemic to Brazil. I think they call it the hairy wicker ware fruited cactus according to Wikipedia. And the flowers have a really nice orange blossom scent. If you're into that, this cactus might be for you. Let's see if I can have it focus. Look on these flowers. They look like a bride on her wedding day. Right now, the orange blossom scent that I'm accustomed to is more lemony for some reason. They just opened up. I have buds on just about every single tip of every single um, eh, leaf. I can close up and... Yes, that's my cat. Hello, Ferdinand. Good morning. How are you? I know. Anyway, um, yes, there they are. They're just now beginning to open up. So I probably should have filmed this later when maybe another couple of days because some of them are not fully open yet. Here's one of the buds. Come on, focus. See the pink tip? on the closed buds. It's such an attractive plant. And it's soft to the touch. Kind of looks like spider legs. These little hairs are not prickly at all. They're all soft. Such a nice plant. My children love it. It looks like falling stars, shooting stars in the night. Look at that. If you like tactile things like I do, this is this is definitely the one for you. And it smells great. It's so lemony right now, but it should it should kind of evolve into that orange blossom flip scent. At least it usually does. Ah, I broke this one. You know, I could just stick this right back in the pot and it should start to grow, but I'm not gonna get greedy. <laughs> I'll just let it fall. Ferdinand. Ferdy. What are you doing? Hmm? This is my six month old cat. He has found my basket hanger. He likes it. Birdie. Hi. I know. <laughs> anyway, Ripsalis pillocarpa. Jungle cactus. I keep it in lighting similar to that of a Cattleya. I water it weekly and I do feed it with the orchid food. It gets fed a lot when it's outdoors in the summer and fall and I exposed it to full sun once and it kind of turned the little fronds purple so I don't think it likes full sun. I don't think it grows in full sun naturally. Endemic to the forest means it's definitely covered by leaves and of course trees that's not those deciduous forests so don't give it full sun feed it like your regular orchid um 20 20 20 or any orchid food at quarter strength should be good and um yep this one is an easy care plant and it blooms when it cools down oh wait <laughs> it did bloom in the summer too not sure why Maybe that's what it wants to do, but the full bloom for me is in fall. So, there you go. Another look at the flowers. Give it what focus. There you go. Let's try and get in closer so you can see it. Come on. Oh, it won't focus. How annoying. Anyway, there it is. Fragrance tactile sensation cute to boot I love it there's the whole plant she's a beauty 
Thanks for watching. Bye.